Hello and welcome back to another vlog. I'm going to be filming a work week of my life this week and I haven't done one since my first week of work at the job that I'm currently at, which was the last week of October. So it's been a little bit. By the way, I just want to say if you hear me sounding a little bit like nasally or congested is because this season of my life is so busy right now. We have so much going on and this is my second time getting sick this year and it's literally the middle of February and I was sick the first week of January. My immune system is currently despising me and it's like my body's way of saying like, please slow down. So I'm recovering from a sickness from last week. But anyways, um, funny story, I am in wealth management and I never pictured this for myself at all. I have a degree in hospitality management and I originally was in college wanting to be in restaurant management, like move up in the restaurant industry. And after I was working in restaurants for a little bit, I was there for two and a half years, I realized that I didn't want to do that. So one thing led to another. I got a job in executive real estate, like office space, and I was there for three years. And then I went into travel agent work and I was there for six months, got laid off and was unemployed for a few months last year. And then now I'm here in wealth management and I feel like I just did so many different career avenues. And here I am with a job that I never picture for myself and I'm very happy and I never get Sunday scaries. I never go to bed on Sunday night dreading the work week. My boss is super nice, my coworker is incredible, and I work in just a great, healthy work environment, which I'm so grateful for. And um, funny, my best friend, Taylor, we have actually worked together multiple different jobs. We worked at Hollister together, which was like one of our first jobs. We worked at Carabas together, which is where we were for a very long time um, together in restaurants. And then we worked at my executive office space job for, I think we worked there for almost a year together. And now she is coming to work at my job in wealth management. So this is our fourth job working together and we're best friends. We've been friends for 10 years now, which is so crazy. She dated my brother in high school and we just stayed friends after and it's just so funny how it's almost like we're a package deal like everywhere i go she almost has to like come with me <laughs> like she's working under a different advisor so basically how it works is there's a bunch of different advisors and they all have like a team underneath them so she's working for a different advisor she's not working for my boss but we're in the same office which is so funny so we're gonna be going to work again every day and i'm so excited um she just makes work fun and um, I'm excited because there's not a lot of people that go into the office. I'm there every day. Me and someone else are there like consistently every single day. But other than that, everyone works kind of like a hybrid style. So I'm thinking like eventually I'll work like one day a week from home. But for now, I'm like totally enjoying going into the office. I've never had an issue going into the office. I've even through COVID, I had to go into work because my job in executive office space could it be done remote? So I've never really had an issue, but I would love to eventually work one day from home a week just to like create a little bit more of a balance with work and life. But that was a very long introduction. I wanted to quickly go ahead and thank Cuts for working with me on today's video. They are my favorite basics. I love how they have different styles that fit different categories in your life. Like I'm wearing their long tomboy tee for work, but they also have a cropped version. So here's the cropped version. This unfortunately is too cropped to fit in my work pants that I'm wearing and these are high-waisted work pants. It might work for other people. I just have a longer torso, but this is the crop version. I got this color this month, so I wanted to share the few things that I got this month. I gravitate towards basics no matter what. I like being comfortable and especially like being comfortable at work. I feel like it helps me perform better. You know what they say when you feel good in your skin and how you look and what you're wearing and you feel comfortable, you are more inclined to perform better with 
whatever it may be, whether it's like chores at work, your to-do list, you're more likely to get like things done because you feel like good about yourself and like you feel comfortable in what you're wearing. And that's what I love about cuts. I always feel comfortable in every single <laughs> basic tee that I have from them. So I wear a small because I don't like them to be too tight right here. I find that to be a little bit uncomfortable. So they do have an extra small, but I just like the way the small fits on me personally. So I got this tan color. I'm going to be wearing a sweater over top, just like a little black sweater i'll share my outfit in the full length mirror out there when i'm about to leave but i'm going to be throwing a sweater on just like my arms covered at work i'm more comfortable and it could be cold in an office so next i got the same full length tee in white i also have this tee in black and i feel like if you just have multiple pairs of trouser pants in different colors different color basic tees some sweaters you can truly have so many unlimited outfits and it makes dressing for work so easy with basics so they have tons of different colors i'm just going to show you guys the difference in length so this is the tomboy tee cropped and this is like the full length version so it's a little bit different in length so I have the cropped tomboy tee and the full length in multiple colors and I love both of them but they fit into different categories so the full length ones are going to be more for work and the cropped ones are going to be more for going out casual or dress it up kind of um, weekend style and then lastly I got the almost Friday tee which is my favorite tee I just love how flowy it is and it's cropped I really like the material and the feeling of this tee and I got it in white this time and I have it in multiple different colors it's probably one of my favorite tees but today I'm wearing the tomboy tee full length and I just can't recommend cuts enough I've worked with them multiple times I seriously wear their tees all the time especially for workwear because it's just easy and I don't have to think about it and I feel like that's something like that's my motto I feel like if it's easy and I don't have to think about it it's something that I want to incorporate into my life like I meal prep on a regular basis so I don't have to think about lunch and that makes it easy on me same with workwear if I don't have to think about what I'm wearing don't have to try so hard to figure out an outfit it's just so easy I can pull a tee pull a pair of pants pull a sweater and I have a work outfit and then I'm out the door it makes life so easy so i wanted to quickly share with you guys what i'm wearing and you'll probably see me wear another one of these throughout the week as well let's start off this work week in my life we're gonna have a great week welcome back to another vlog i'm so excited to have you guys here and yeah we're gonna have a great work week
Tuesday, it's Valentine's Day, so I'm wearing pink pants, of course. I'm wearing this really old sweater from Mink Pink, I think. I've had it for years, and it's in the 40s this morning. So I just had to wear this, and then pink little trouser pants from Zara being festive today with the pink for Valentine's Day. But yeah, I wanted to quickly share my outfit. I'm gonna head to work now and then there's some fun things that I'm doing after work today, so. finished the work day I'm about to go get permanent bracelets with Taylor and Maya I got this one in Austin Texas I thought it'd be fun to do it with them here in Orlando there's a woman that bounces around between some of the different cities in Florida and she has a studio I think now in Orlando and she's here doing permanent bracelets so um, I'll put all the information on the screen when we get there and show the whole thing and if you live in Orlando or even Florida I'll link her website down below so you guys can book if you're interested but I'm excited and then after Christian has something some surprise thing planned after that I don't know about so um, the bracelet thing is gonna be really quick but this I don't know what he has planned it's a surprise which is fun but it's hard for me to do surprises because I like knowing things so I'll be vlogging obviously but yeah so I'm gonna be getting permanent bracelets with them I feel like I look a little rough from the work day but that's okay but I'm gonna head to the little shop where we get our permanent bracelets and Taylor and Maya are meeting me there crazy but I've I think I've mentioned this before this is how I sleep with my hair when it's natural if that makes sense like when I let it air dry I sleep with twists so instead of three strands of hair it's two strands of hair and it's like a French twist I guess because it starts at the top obviously while sleeping it gets really messy but when I take it out it's really nice waves um, I've tried the legging curl thing and I've only tried it once and it just didn't work as well and it was really uncomfortable to sleep in. This is a little bit more comfortable for me to sleep in but the leggings were just not comfortable. I feel like I need to get that strap that goes over your head and you wrap around but for now this hairstyle works for me. The waves are fine but um, I didn't really vlog much yesterday. I didn't even show myself getting my bracelet because I was in such a rush to meet Christian because he planned a surprise Valentine's Day thing and I had no idea what it was but he was like okay just like hurry because he was waiting with food and the sun was going down so I was like in a rush and I completely forgot 
to vlog um, myself going, but I vlogged Taylor getting hers. I went with this one. So this is my one from Austin, Texas, and then I just got this one, and I think it's perfect. It's really cute, and um, she has the cutest little shop right in the East End Market area if you live in Orlando. It's right outside of Baldwin Park. It's on the second floor and there's tons of different chains to choose from. You can also do solid gold, but I just did the gold dipped or gold plated. And the first one that I had from Austin is gold plated and it has lasted pretty well on my skin. She even said, because she asked how long I had this one, and I said since August, and she says, oh, your skin reacts well to gold dipped. So I guess depending on your skin and maybe like your pH, it can affect the turning process of metals, I don't know. But I could be totally wrong on that. I don't know, she just made that comment. So I assumed that that's what she was meaning, but yeah. So me, Maya, and Taylor all got some bracelets. Taylor got two. I showed like clips of which ones we picked out before it was on our wrists. So I shared what Taylor got and then I shared what Maya picked out. But it was just a nice little Valentine's Day thing. And then I was rushing because the sun was going down and Christian planned. So he told me where to meet him and it's in Baldwin Park. There's a lake in Baldwin Park. There's actually a few lakes, but it's called Lake Baldwin. And he set up a blanket. He was like, I called him and I was like, okay, like where do I go? And he's like telling me where to go. And I walked out and he was sitting on a blanket with sushi and he brought wine and cookies and it was just so lovely it was very thoughtful and it was sushi from one of our favorite sushi restaurants sushi lola's and that's by balloon park and it's so yummy so it was just a lot of fun we sat there and we were like talking about our europe trip and it was just really nice and those are like the types of things that i love like things that are like thought out and just simple but meaningful but it's wednesday christian goes on another bachelor trip tomorrow so i have to take him to the airport really early in the morning and then i'm he's gone for like the whole weekend so i'm gonna take my hair out now and it kind of comes out looking like a little bit different each time depending on like how wet my hair is when I do it and like how well it stays while I sleep but it's like the same concept like it's just wavy and I don't brush it I just kind of leave it like this and I'll like put oil in the ends and some dry shampoo and this is what I get it kind of like falls as the day goes on but this is what I get first thing after taking them out which is fine it's like beachy waves and um then i sleep in it again tonight so i sleep in it kind of like consistently or multiple nights in a row just to kind of like keep the waves yeah it's an easy and no heat hairstyle and that's what i do during the work week because i only wash my hair twice a week i only blow dry my hair once and the other time i just let it air dry so that way it can like help my hair not be so heat damaged because I'm already bleaching it. So, yeah. Okay, I just got home from work and Christian went to Trader Joe's while I was at work today because he's an angel. And I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that he got for us. Some of the stuff is interesting. <laughs> like, some of the foods he picks out are just so interesting. Like this maple pancake flavored puffs. They taste like, almost like maple Cheetos, but the Cheetos are maple flavored. That's like the texture. They're good. 
I was very just concerned at first, but they're good. They're good. Don't get me wrong. He got these chips in a pickle, which I haven't tried. <laughs> so I'm going to try those, but he already... He already got into these, so I tried those. Got some of the Elote corn chip dippers. These are our favorites. We love their frozen meals. They're really easy, and this one's actually really good, and it has peanuts in it, and it's like a nice meal. I don't know, it's really good. And then this rice cauliflower stir fry is also so yummy. They didn't have center cut filets, so he just got the filet mignon. We need to vacuum seal that. Sweet potato gnocchi, got these waffle fries, cauliflower gnocchi, I love this stuff. He got this pimento cheese dip, which I've never tried, so it sounds really good. Chunky guacamole, of course, and then some ginger shots. And then Liquid IV sent over some of their packets, and I got the golden cherry, and then the wild berry blend. This one's the immunity support. One, I love these. I basically drink them when I'm hungover, when I'm traveling, when I am working out. Sometimes I can wake up with like headaches from dehydration because even though you're drinking so much water, sometimes you're depleting a lot of your minerals by just peeing them out. So that's like one con about drinking a lot of water is sometimes you can kind of deplete all your electrolytes and minerals. So I love having these on hand. They really make such a difference. So this little haul, and now I'm gonna put this back in the fridge and the pantry, and I'm gonna get ready for a workout. Thursday, I dropped Christian off at the airport this morning at like 5 a.m. And he is off on another bachelor trip. And this is the last one for a couple of months because I don't think the next bachelor trip is until summer, I think. And that's for like a wedding in September. So it's the last little <laughs> trip. Then we have the weddings and then we're gonna be home. So dropped him off at the airport. He's going to Arizona, but this is what I'm wearing. I scrubbed off my self-tanner last night. I'm gonna self-tan tonight, so I can be tan for tomorrow and the weekend. But I'm wearing another Cuts tee. This is in white, it's the full-length version. And I'm wearing a really long sweater over top. This sweater is from Pretty Little Thing. I have it in gray and tan, and I love it. And then blue, navy blue um, trouser pants from Zara, these are my favorite pants. I have them in like eight colors. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna head to work. I just got home a little bit ago. If you can hear the laundry in the background, I just started a load of laundry, but I picked up some of my self-tanner on my way home. I used the Bally Body One Hour Express. I knew I was about to run out and I didn't want to run out while self-tanning, so I picked up another one on my way home. This stuff has been my favorite, my go-to. I don't like sleeping in a tan. I prefer to just come home, put it on. I leave this on for four hours and then I'll show you later on what I apply after I shower. It's another gradual self tanner. It's a lotion, but this is what I put on. I leave it on for four hours and just relax. And 
then I rinse it off and I'll share with you guys what I do after but I've shared it multiple times this is just my absolute favorite self tanner um, I'll link it just finished making dinner doing a little taco bowl and I just did some Greek yogurt and some of this guac on top with some cheese and tomato lettuce there's onion mixed in with the ground turkey and this is my easy dinner and then I have leftover for lunch tomorrow okay it's 10 o'clock now I just washed off my self tanner and this is what I put on after I get out of the shower just one layer of it just coat it all over my body wait like five minutes for it to dry and then I get dressed and go to bed and this is like a gradual self tanning cream and I find that it layers so well with the Bally Body one hour express so I really love the combo wanted to share I'll link this down below Okay, I just got home from work. Sorry I didn't vlog much today. I slept in 20 minutes later and kind of left me rushing around this morning. So I didn't really vlog much this morning or throughout the work day. But I had a busy work day at a few meetings and a lot of stuff to get done before the weekend because it is a three day weekend. So there was just a lot of things that I had to get done today it was pretty busy work day but i just got home i'm gonna deep clean the apartment today and tonight and then i'm gonna go hang out with taylor and maya later tonight and just hang out and then i'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow but i'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here so i can just deep clean get everything in order and done before i head over to maya's house to hang out with them and yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed this work week in my life i have a busy next few weekends after this weekend i'm trying to keep it low-key this weekend just to kind of chill because the next two weekends i'm going to be out of town for bridal things and weddings which i'm so excited about so definitely subscribe so you don't miss any future content but i hope you guys enjoyed give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.